well, did we look confused? And I'm not, I think yeah, we did a pretty good job of being confused. That's pretty much how the campaign went was, this year. Yeah. <laughs> it was a confusing year, wasn't it? Uh, well, I know the one thing we're not confused about, and that is our appreciation for you and all that you did this year. Uh, any of you who are out there in the audience and have been a campaign chair, uh, you know it takes a tremendous amount of time and energy and... Uh, Tim was always very gracious, very enthusiastic when we had the bumps in the road. Uh, it was a good cause. And we really, really appreciate it. So let's give Tim a round of applause. have a small gift for you. Ah. Um, well, it's sort of a big <laughs> gift, actually. And uh, you can take it home with you or open it here, whatever oh. you would like to do. But uh, just to show our appreciation, oh. Tim, for oh. uh, spending a very, very big year oh. here. <laughs> oh, this is outstanding. There's, there's Tim on an airplane. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's spectacular. The only thing we'll add is the big number at the bottom. Oh, that's outstanding. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Well, it's uh, really been an honor this last year to uh, be the chair of the campaign. Um, uh, chairing the United Way campaign, I always knew was a big job, and I knew it involved a lot of good things, but uh, it's uh, first and foremost really a team effort. All of you certainly have been on the team. You've made sure your companies have been on the team. And so together, we've been able to really try to address this campaign, the substantial needs in our community, uh, which have been uh, increasing uh, each and every year due to a variety of reasons, economic and otherwise. And so I really wanted to uh, thank you and a number of companies specifically for really all the help you've given. Um, uh, although it is a lot of time for the campaign chair and other people to work on the campaign, as all of you know, uh, it pays dividends back to you that really exceed the effort you put into it. And so um, I have been thrilled to be the campaign chair this last year. Um, we wanted to recognize specifically a couple companies uh, uh, for specific outstanding performance. Uh, one category uh, would be to recognize three companies that we would call uh, our businesses of the year. Um, the first company, uh, and that's due to performance really above and beyond in a very dramatic way what they had been able to achieve in prior years. Uh, we had many companies that have outstanding performance, but one we wanted to recognize uh, among three was uh, Quaker US, which is a division of PepsiCo. Uh, one of the, uh, they had a tremendous campaign this year. They blew away all their internal goals for the campaign. And uh, when it was all said and done, they had achieved a $30,000 increase over uh, the performance the year before. So please help me in recognizing Quaker. Another company, uh, albeit a smaller one, but also with dramatic uh, performance improvement in supporting United Way is Lynn Area Credit Union. Uh, they were able to achieve 100% uh, employee participation this last year, which is absolutely incredible. And as a, as, a, as a result of that, they were able to achieve a $7,500 increase in uh, contributions and support to United Way. So please help me recognize them. And then uh, as a third company to be recognized uh, specifically, wanted to recognize uh, Penford. Uh, Penford had done also a tremendous job with a larger group of employees uh, at their company of increasing uh, participation from 27% uh, to 64% and uh, resulting in a net increase of $15,000 over the prior year, and which is absolutely outstanding. Please help me recognize them. And then, uh, for those of you, and I know many of you have come to these events each and every year, uh, you've heard uh, these names many times over, 
but we have uh, two million dollar club winners, uh, not winners, but companies to be recognized uh, that give individually and with the help of their employees more than a million dollars to the campaign. And as you can tell with a ten and a half million dollar plus campaign, uh, to have two companies really as the cornerstone, giving more than one million each, uh, we wanted to recognize Rockwell Collins and Transamerica. So please help me recognize them. And then we also wanted to recognize uh, two organizations, one company and one organization that give uh, in excess of half a million dollars to the campaign uh, this year and uh, have uh, consistently contributed very substantial amounts. Uh, one is General Mills that we wanted to recognize in that category. General Mills has been uh, uh, in many ways best of class, not only among companies in their similar industry in terms of percentage of giving and per capita giving, but also uh, nationwide uh, is really the uh, largest per capita giver within the General Mills plants nationwide. And so we want to recognize them in this category in addition to uh, Hall Perrine, who year in and year out has been a very substantial half million dollar plus uh, contributor to United Way and as you know many other organizations. So please help me recognize both of these companies. And then, obviously, there's many other companies and many other individual supporters that made up the campaign's success. And just to let you know, and so you can all be aware, 24,000 individual contributors uh, helped support this year's campaign. I know each and every one of you did, uh, plus 23-some uh, thousand. And so please uh, give yourself a round of applause. Then, uh, for all of you that are with companies that uh, worked with the campaign, and I think you all are, you know that United Way ran a step-up challenge again this year, uh, where we offered uh, prizes and raffles uh, and gifts uh, to givers, uh, just as a kind of a fun incentive. There were four companies who stepped up to provide the grand prizes for that, and I wanted to uh, recognize the four of them. Um, I'll read all four and we can recognize them. Each of them agreed to give a $2,500 value uh, gift to be raffled off as a special incentive to have individual contributors want to participate in the campaign. One was Whirlpool Amana, who gave uh, a, kitchen, a kitchen makeover with their appliances uh, to the value of $2,500. Another one was Ryan Companies that stepped up and offered a home remodel for any room in the house up to $2,500. Hawkeye Convenience Stores uh, uh, participated as a major contributor as well by giving $2,500 uh, gas gift cards away, which uh, uh, is well appreciated in this environment. And then my company, Bankers Trust, uh, gave a $2,500 uh, gift card uh, to a lucky winner as well to spend as they wish. And so this year, uh, as opposed to me just uh, trying to describe to you the uh, excitement on the faces of the people who got the cards, we have a video for you, uh, which will briefly show you them actually getting the cards and being uh, in gifts and being surprised by that. So with that, uh, take a look at the video. It's just a couple minutes long. I'm standing here with my friends from United Way today. We are coming out to surprise the winner of our $2,500 Step Up campaign. Uh, drawing and uh, it's a $2,500 gift certificate for some sort of home improvement project. So we're going to go inside now and hope she'll be, he or she will be surprised and happy to have this award. We're looking for Cindy. Is Cindy here? That's her right there. Now you're supposed to be smiling, Cindy. I'm from Ryan Companies, Mark Gullickson, and I'm here with my friends from United Way. Yeah. You've won a $2,500 gift certificate for Home Improvement Project at your house as part of our United Way stand-up campaign, step-up campaign. Oh, that's awesome. But you have to put your hat on. I can do that. I'm doing a Home Improvement Project right now. Perfect. <laughs> you look very good in that hat. Thank you. Too funny. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. And thank you for being part of United Way. Thank you. I'm doing a kitchen remodel and room addition. So, Great. yeah. And you did some stuff in the basement, too, right? Did some stuff in the basement. So, it should all be done within the next couple of weeks. So, yeah, that's actually good. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. 
we are at General Mills where we are about to surprise our prize winner with $2,500 in gas gift cards. But seizing the van is key and never wash the soap How's everybody doing? I'm one of the uh, Step Up uh, uh, sponsors for United Way, and I'm looking for Kevin Webster. Uh -oh. Over there. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> I want to present you with $2,500 of gas gift cards. And we're very proud of what you did for United Way, all of you. You're very welcome. We are very excited to be part of the United Way of East Central Iowa Step Up Challenge this year. Part of that was to donate one of the major Step Up prizes of a kitchen suite to one lucky winner. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Stu? Hello, Stu. My name's Jeff Anderson. I'm with Whirlpool Amana. Uh, Whirlpool Amana was very excited to be part of the United Way Step Up Challenge this year as, a, as far as the space setter. And as part of that Step Up Challenge, there are four grand prize winners. Right. And fortunately, you were one of those grand prize winners, and you won a kitchen suite of appliances uh, from Whirlpool Amana. For real? For real. No joking about Thank it. You. So these are the appliances, and this is for you. All right. Two takes, so you can go home and share with your family, things like that. Okay. I really appreciate everything that United Way does, and it's a wonderful organization to have in our community. And uh, True North, as an organization, uh, loves its involvement with United Way and all the good things that happens. And I'm happy that I could participate, and thank you very much for the new appliances. I'm here to award a lucky prize winner a gift certificate from Bankers Trust for the United Way campaign. Hi, come on over here. Come on over here. It's your lucky day. That's really hard to put in the <laughs> Yes, it is. Hi. Hi. What's I'm your Tammy. Name? Tammy, I'm Tim Kintner. Hi, Tim. Nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, very nice to meet you. Well, just stand here and smile, Tammy. Uh, <laughs> well, my, name, my name's Tim Kintner. I'm president of Bankers Trust. And uh, I'm very pleased to tell you that you are a winner in the United Way Step Up Challenge which Bankers Trust agreed to contribute a $2,500 gift card to a lucky winner. And because of your giving this year, you are the lucky recipient. Congratulations. This is really awesome. I appreciate it. Um, I think everyone gives to the United Way just because it's the right thing to do, and we try to help everybody in our community. and. It's amazing how sometimes when you give, you get back. So, absolutely, thank you very much. well said, and uh, couldn't have gone to a better person this year. So, congratulations. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Well, thank you, and, and watching that video, it points out to me the terror someone shows in their face when they see a banker in their workplace. <laughs> So hopefully Tammy can be at ease now. So, well, the next uh, the next part of the program, and as we get towards the close here, uh, is the part that every campaign chair uh, relishes, and that's when we get to hand the uh, baton, or in this case, uh, the uh, trophy bowl, uh, to the next year's chair. And uh, Mark and Kathy Gullickson, uh, I definitely want to first point out, uh, were instrumental in this year's campaign as the vice chairs uh, and absolutely were extremely helpful in helping this be a successful campaign. And uh, just as much, I'm extremely grateful that they all obviously at the same time really, uh, whether they knew it or not, were accepting the opportunity to be next year's <laughs> campaign chairs. And so with that, uh, let me pass the bowl to you folks. <laughs> and and we'd uh, love to hear some words about how you plan to do it again next year. <laughs> uh, Captain, I just have a couple of comments, but it's amazing the leverage someone has on you when they have your house alone. <laughs> Sitting with this computer saying, what was your interest rate? Uh, we had just a couple of short tasks. First, we want to thank Tim again. It's pretty intimidating to stand here on stage realizing we're starting all over again, uh, which is what he had to do a year ago, knowing that he had to follow the previous chair and go out and raise another $10 million plus million. Well, he did it. 
and we all own a great debt. The city owes me a great debt of gratitude, and with United Way staff, we're going to try to do that again. So again, thanks, Tim. My second responsibility is to thank some chairs. Uh, this is my Morton Salt Tablet coupon. <laughs> we have we have several chairs we'd like to thank for their ongoing past year and continued support. I know some of them are here: Carol and Tom, uh, Carol Reasoner and Tom Pepper, Barbara and James Klein, uh, Carol and Tom do Tofield, Barbara and James Klein do Sinclair, Brian Fries and Colleen Hepner, the Court Society, Sue Outer and Ashley Ernst, the Women's Leadership Group. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sue Outer and Ashley Ernst, the Women's Leadership Okay. <laughs> Brandy Miller and Wendy Nielsen, the Young Leaders Group, and Shelley Parks and Weaver from Labor. Let's uh, thank all those folks. <laughs> Somewhere in the audience is Ron Olson from Paulson Electric. We've been able to trick him into becoming vice chair for our next year's campaign. <laughs> Seriously, Paulson has been a wonderful supporter of United Way over the years. Uh, Ron has already started meeting with us. He's got this bizarre idea about writing a grant to the legislator to get some matching funds. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but we are delighted to have Ron as part of our team next year, and he'll be standing here taking the role when we uh, step aside next year, hopefully raising the same amount of more than Tim raised this year. So, Kathy, how would you like to uh, finish this up? I have a couple of ideas. I'd like to talk about 1960. In 1960, the number one hits that year were Teen Angel, It's Now or Never Elvis Presley, come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Twist, Chevy Checker, Twist, Save the Last Dance for Me, The Drifters, and maybe my favorite, the Everly Brothers, Kathy's Clown. <laughs> If you were born in 1960, or if you were born since 1960, raise your hand. There are a lot of you youngsters here in 1960 or since. Okay, put your hands down. During your lifetime, I want you to know that every year, except once, the people in Cedar Rapids have exceeded the United Way campaign from the year before. Every year but once since 1960. So Mark and I understand that challenge, <laughs> and we're ready to take it on with all of your help. And we want to thank you so much for being a part of it. In fact, we have your first assignment. Tonight's all about celebrating, and celebrating what the wonderful people in Cedar Rapids have done. 24,000 people have raised over $10.5 million for those in need in our community. And that's worth celebrating, and it's worth telling someone. So we want you to go home tonight. We want you to write an email. We want you to pick up the phone. We want you to write a note. We want you to tweet someone and tell them what the people in Cedar Rapids have done in the United Way campaign. Thank you so much, and we look forward to all of you being here again next year. And then you step forward again and introduce uh, Lois, who has a few more words for us before she dismisses us. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mark and Kathy, for agreeing to take on this uh, new challenge. And Ron Olson, I can't see you out there, but I know you are out there. Don't run away, please, because we need you too. Um, now, you thought all the good news was done, didn't you? And we, we hit campaign goal, we went over campaign goal. But uh, in addition to thanking all of you, I also want to tell you we have some other good news. And every year with campaign, um, you know, all of you and your companies give us so much support, both corporately and employees. But this year also, we have some really great news. Um, in addition to that over $10,500,000, um, we also have over, um, $700,000 in grants and sponsorships that we add to that ten and a half million. And I think it uh, might be up on the screen here, maybe, coming over $700,000. So that's in addition. And then because all of you provide so much support through the volunteer service, we have over 85,000 hours of volunteer time. 
which translates to $1.8 million. So our grand total of resources in the community that all of you have contributed to is over $13.1 million. generosity of, of this group. Um, also want to just uh, do a very, very special thank you to some folks tonight, uh, 7G, who's provided some beer tasting, uh, Danny Woodson, who provides some music, and obviously our actors from the Urban uh, Actors Guild. Let's give them all a round of applause. Um, in addition, uh, as you know, with any of these events, it takes a lot of time and energy, and our United Way staff has been working for a long time to kind of put things together. So uh, let's give all of them behind the scenes a real round of applause. I want to thank all of you. Obviously, these resources go back into the community to help so many people who uh, need them. So on behalf of the thousands of families that will benefit, uh, the United Way staff, board, trustees, uh, we appreciate all of you being here tonight and continuing to support us. Uh, we also have some awards out at the table in the gallery, and so we encourage some of the companies to go over there and uh, pick up your awards and we'll be visiting you uh, in the next several months to personally thank you. Go out, uh, enjoy some of the food and drinks yet, and thank you so much for another successful year.